Professor Kobe Rudd focuses on learning through simulation in health and education. Her work is on an international scale determining if, where and how learning through simulation can be best integrated into the health curricula. The primary aims of her research are to address the issues of discontent and frustration in the tertiary health education sector with the lack of quality clinical placements and to improve the safety and quality of healthcare. One of the aspects of this research is to verify the competency of students when the clinical hours have been substituted by simulation learning. Isn't that what I just said? We've researched interventions in higher education, health professionals' development and clinical outcomes. The pilot study we are conducting as part of a transnational collaboration with the United States involves comparing groups of students with no simulation, 50% simulation or 100% simulation. These pilot findings will be very important in the development of larger scale studies. Professor Rudd has built her fellowship and collaborative research network projects around working with colleagues within and beyond Australia, exploring how to best use simulated learning environments. The ECU Collaborative Network project I lead has attracted substantial funding which will allow us to develop a series of training videos based on simulation materials and test the impact and competency on professional development and clinical outcomes. The project will help improve interprofessional practice and collaboration among health professionals. Under this Collaborative Research Network program, which is a $17.87 million investment, this sub-project team partners with the University of Queensland, the University of Melbourne and the University of Western Australia. In that partnership program, we will develop evidence-based models of healthcare we will do research on experiential learning and we will increase the role of community in engaged research in health. The research is meant to drive institutional change in higher education and it will support national health reform.